Hi, it's October 18, 2023. I'm getting ready to enter into a three month. Dimension that teaches the great divide. What it does is it is just meeting life. During this three month period, I will be writing, drawing, creating songs, images. Hopefully I'll make it because the darkest place I've ever been is the closest to death that I've ever touched. I hope I come out of it no lie. The only thing that I keep remembering is that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And the end of the three months, surely I will be touched by God. If I've never been touched by God, this is a heart to percent. God blessing me with life, another life to live. Now, the reason why is because the devil killed me with a disease, a fatal disease and I'm about to take the kill and I'm listening to people who have oh, been there done that and said it ain't nothing I hope it's nothing I hope I get through it like they did. And if I do, I will feel like God truly loves me. That he kissed me with another life. The, this is the closest to death I've ever been. During this three months of the kill, in the treatment, I'll be creating. I probably will not be online. I'm cutting myself off from a plan to cut myself off from the internet. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> Bless me. Oh. Mm, bless me. Oh, bless me. Oh. Mm, bless me. Oh. <laughs> okay. The worst part about it is that I believed I was going to be a mother and a grandmother. I believed that I was going to get my family back. That's never going to happen. It's never going to be the way it should have been. The devil did that to me. And I have to accept it. During the three months. <laughs> I have to deal with the fact that I gave him a whole heart 
my whole existence, my whole life. Everything that I did was to push forward for that call. To get everything back that I stole. That's never going to happen. Kimberly stole it from me. And it be never. And I'll never have a future with my grandchildren or my children. So this is a different direction that I'm taking without my grandchildren, without my children, without the life with a family. So on my own two feet by myself. There's somewhere I never thought I'd be. I believed God would give it back and restore my truth and my life. But it isn't going to happen like that. And that was all I lived for for 20 years. Forcing people to see who I really was. And that they were the most important things in my entire life. There was my reason for living, my reason for going, my reason for doing the things that I do. So now I'm at a loss. What do I do if it's not about my family and for my grandkids? I do. It's almost like it isn't worth it. But it is. It is. You know why? Because I was a gay person. No matter what, I was important. But they didn't want to believe it. I was not the bad guy. So I've got to get on with my career. Without my children and my family, I have to go alone. I have to make that leap. I have to jump. So. It's been the three months that I'm dealing with it. The loss and the death of my life before. The only one I wanted. The only one I lived for. Mother, grandmother, family. It isn't the way anymore. I have no children. I have no grandchildren. They don't love me and they don't like me. They don't know me. And they don't care to find uh, anything about me. So that part of my life is dead. It is a dearly departed issue. I've got to learn to deal with it, even though it's not my fault. I did nothing wrong to deserve to have it all taken. I just happened to be, I was a victim of circumstance, a victim of jealousy and covetousness. I was a victim and my kids were too. They were deprived of the one person who wanted to give them a future, a rich lifestyle, fame and fortune and blessings that God, a good God, would have given his children. That was me, but... Evidently, the devil come in and destroy everything. <laughs> and I have to deal with that because God isn't 
going to fix it like I thought he would. Evidently, he just wants me to do whatever it is. I'm going to do after I cross the great divide and deal with the death of everyone I love and the birth of a single me with a career even though I'm old I'm blessed God wants me there so I don't know what it does he wants me to do but it isn't to be a grandmother or a mother he wants me to do it alone and I will and I will but I'm sorry about Monster Grand Mondays and I'm sorry about Friday feature film family night. I can't do it right now. I'll have to take the care of perhaps and I'll have to get into a recovery program and counseling and um I'm doing the best I can. I'm sorry everybody killed me because I wasn't important enough to love. I hope nobody does that to you. This is changed Diana. Adams. And I'll be here in three months, maybe before. It depends on whatever it is I'm doing and what it is I'm led to do. So 